Good morning, good morning, good morning. You guys, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey. Ho. Hey. Ho. It's Friday. Good morning. It's Friday, guys. My favorite day of the week is Friday. And it's the Memorial Day weekend, baby. <laughs> what am I doing? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. I need a uh, pen right here, y'all. But you know what? It's all good. I'm not going away. I'm not doing nothing. So I'm leaving it like this. Oh, guys, it's early. It is 6.20 right now. I'm up. I didn't mean to be. <laughs> I I don't know why my mind made me think it was later than it was. Um, and I could have easily reached over and looked at the phone. Um, but I had looked at the phone earlier. It was 5, so I assumed it was around 6.30 already, 7 o'clock when I first got up, y'all. So I obviously... I actually been up since six um out the bed moving and doing stuff um whew, i had a dream guys that woke me up and now i want to try to remember the dream um my nails they're coming off on their own so i'm going to redo them this weekend this one was long when it when the nail when this nail came off but it broke i did something and it it just it cracked and ridged all up so I was trying to I didn't have a file or anything with me so I was trying to bite it off and bit too freaking low down to the meat oh this finger hurt um so guys after I donated yesterday I'm broke now without funds I used all that money to pay um toward paying two bills um so I'm, I'm is they done so that's good um don't have to worry about it till next month Later in the in the month, uh, my eyes. Sorry, guys. But I still forgot to get my creamer. But I did get his bag of bag of nine lives. I did get. They had these little gray mats there um, that they you put their bowls on top of. <laughs> So I got that. I thought it was so cute. It's gray and it had little paw prints on it. I got that and I put his um, food bowl and water bowl on top of it. And uh, I bought myself some glasses. Can y'all tell? This is a different color blue. What you think? And then I got these. These are a little bit lighter than the other ones that I have. The other one's like a neon yellowish green. This is actually a green. What y'all think? Which do you like better? Tell me. Look at the side. And look at the side on these. <laughs> so cute. Um, so because my pajama pants are blue. Blue and grayish. I wear these. Okay? Um, so let me tell you about the dream if I can remember. I don't want to forget even more. Um, but in the dream I had a house. Right? And... I was I was in the house with I guess whoever I was dating that time I don't know if we were married at the time or what but that person and that person's mom we were sitting in the house and we were just talking I don't remember what we were talking about but I think it had to do with the house and in the dream I guess I was renting the home and I guess I was behind on payments. I don't know if I was renting, if it was mortgage, which one it was, right? <laughs> but, um, I, it was a lot going on in the dream, to be honest with you. But all I remember is, I guess the house before I had it, um, had been on sale or for rent for some years, right? And when it was rented... Uh, when there was someone in there, they were if they weren't in there long. It was like people would come and go. Then you have me, and so 
I remember in the dream, somebody came to me with paperwork to sign. There was something that I forgot to sign. And I wasn't sure about the person, so I called the original person. was like, you know, hey, blah, blah, blah. It's here saying, you know, he was like, oh, yes, yes, I sent them. Y'all see, I put the, uh... So when I got, sorry, y'all, when I got through donating I got in the car I noticed right here was white you know that that pussy stuff that be inside and I was like I can't be going around with white what do I do I'm sitting in the car like you know and I hate busting stuff because then that's when you get the spots and things right germs you know so I was like I can't be walking around with no white that just uh and so I went ahead and did that until it you know bust and I was like oh my god now I'm at black spot now it's gonna look weird da -da -da -da. So anyway, when I got home, y'all already know, I put toothpaste on it. And it was so funny because I'm walking around trying to remember which toothpaste do I put on it. Was it a certain? Because I couldn't remember. It's been so long to have to even do that. So um, I just put two, toothpaste on it, left it on there overnight. And so it's not too bad. I mean, you notice it, but it's not bad. And so I'm going to keep doing that. Right now I have the cortisone on. Um, so... Hopefully it will not leave a mark and hopefully it will go away soon. Anyway, so then in the dream, you know, he was like, no, yeah, I sent them, you know, because I couldn't make it, blah, blah, blah. Paperwork needs to be signed, da, da, da. Okay, and, and he had other paperwork that I had already signed. Uh, it was just, I guess, some that I didn't complete. We overlooked. I got the French vanilla today. So, the end, you guys. Uh, so, that was done. So, I don't know what was going on, but I guess I was behind eventually. And I had made arrangements with that guy that came. And so, I had been giving him money. Okay. So, then all of a sudden, the original guy, I guess you could say landlord, came by and he knocked on the door he was like you know we I need to talk to you about you know your uh rent or something something I was like uh can you slow down I said I have company so it'd have been better for you to say hey can we talk and then I said come on let's go like you know so then we went on and we went outside we was walking and talking and I said we, we we spoke about it. I said, um, I get paid next week. I said, I'll make a payment then. I said, I make a payment every time I get paid. We, we spoke about it. And he was like, no, we didn't talk about it. He was like, uh, I said, I made a raise with you. He's like, no. I was like, see, so y'all ain't communicating. So anyway, the way he continued to talk, I said, I'm not paying both of y'all. And it dawned on me. I said, wait a minute. I've been paying both of y'all. I said, that's why I can't catch up. I've been paying you and paying him. And y'all not communicating? You know? So he made it seem like it was a scam. He made it seem like he didn't even know who this person was type of thing, right? And so... In, in in talking to the, the guy at the time, I didn't remember a lot of stuff. Like, I totally forgot that. Wait a minute. You the one told me that it was okay for him, da, 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 to, for me to sign the papers that he brought over. Da, da, da. You said you sent him, blah, blah, blah. So, I didn't remember this at the time, right? Because, <laughs> mind you, this is over time. So... The way he talked, he was like, oh, yeah, a lot of people get scammed by this guy. And, da -da -da -da. and I'm like, oh, so now I got to get a lawyer, this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. You know, he made it seem like you're not going to win, you know. And I'm, like, getting really frustrated. And, you know, it's like, so what am I supposed to do so I'm not on the lease, even though I had the leases in my hand um, that was signed and everything by him and the other guy. Uh, one was by him, one was by the other guy. So I'm like, oh, my God, you know. Um, so I'm basically month to month now, and if you decide for me to go now, I, I would have to. And so I go back in the house, <laughs> and I started to talk to the guy that I was with. Now, I don't think his mom was there anymore. I don't know at the time. I don't know. Maybe she's in a different room. I don't know. It's so funny. You can see the smoke come out. But... Uh, I'm talking to him, and I said, you know, he's telling me, da 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 da, da and I was explaining everything to him, and he was just, he never said a word in the dream, he just looking like, like, 
he was about to attack the guy or something. And so, as I'm explaining to him, that's when everything else started to come to recollection. I said, wait a minute. I remember now. I said, I called you before letting this man in my house and filling out these papers. I spoke with you. Okay, you told me you sent him and that it was okay. So for you to now tell me you didn't know anything about it, it's a scam, da, 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 da. so what, what's going on is you both scammed me. You were in on this scam. And for a minute there, you had me <laughs> because I had totally forgot about all of that because it was over a period of time and he knew it and he forgot about a lot of stuff too, right? And so... You know, you're going to scam, get it right, right? Um, but I'm glad that there was that he messed up. So, I'm like, wait, no. And um, I was, because the first thing I said when I came into that house is the, the, is the guy that I was with. I said, dang, I said, now I've got to get a lawyer. Da -da -da -da. He was like, well, what's going on? He said, that's the only time I think he spoke. And... I, that's when I started explaining everything. And, um, like I said, he, like, he was going to hurt the guy, right? And so then... That's when all this other stuff started to come to recollection. I was like, no, bro, wait. Uh, you, you know, I said, oh, yeah, I am going to go to court. Oh, for sure. And so that explained to me. And that's when somewhere in the dream, somebody else started talking about, oh, so that explains why this this place people have been in and out like that over over the over the years why it's been empty for so long and then when people were in it they were only in there for you know a little while and out it's because you're scamming people you know and I was like no this stops now and dude was looking all like uh oh oh you know I was like oh no I said for sure for sure we we getting the lawyer and he was still there and I was about to call I think I was about to call the police and have them come while he was there um, uh, and press charges or whatever the case may be and I woke up I woke up I sat up said my prayers got on up and started to get ready <laughs> and that's why I'm, I'm up so I think maybe that caused me to you know think that was later than it was and not to mention the fact that instead of me just grabbing my phone to check the time I just assumed and I got on up so it just gives me time to talk to you guys and um, for a few moments and then I'm going to go ahead and um, watch Vanessa a van life clean her tiny home while I edit some videos because y'all I've been recording I just haven't put anything just been tired haven't uploaded anything so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done because I don't like being behind I really don't um, it's just not cool at all It's not cool at all. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. I forgot to do this early. You know how sometimes it's a little tangled, light and I kind of just separated. Okay. So anyway, oh, one more thing, y'all. When I came home yesterday, right, put everything up, and I realized after I didn't got in the house, I had left the bags in the car. <laughs> I came in to put stuff up and realized where the stuff at. It's in the car. So, and, and this is after I had come in and took my clothes off. So, I had to put clothes back on. Um, go out to the car to get the stuff out the car, right? And so, when I went in my room, y'all, I'm stepping in wide. I'm like, what the heck is going on? In, in the front of my door, it was the, the, the little rug I had in front of my door. I had to throw it out yesterday. It was soaked. I'm like, okay, what just, what happened? You know, and then they're going to the bathroom. Like when you first get ready to go in the bathroom, the rug it was wet. Um, a little bit of water was on the floor in the bathroom, and I'm like, what the heck? I was like, Jeremiah, I knocked on the door. He was knocked out. I was like, why is everything wet? He was like, I don't know. He was asleep. I was like, he was like, I don't know. And I'm like, what the hell? How? The water in, the, in our bathroom couldn't have run over because he sleep, right? So I'm thinking, oh, it's just another one of them situations where upstairs must have 
overflowed something and it came down. So I'm all in there trying to look for evidence of anything because the last time it happened, the first, very first time it happened, um, or, or on the door, you could see like, um, you know how when water comes down and it's on, it's on the top, the condensation and then water was still dripping so you could actually see the water and then it was coming down the wall so you could see it and so that led me to believe that maybe that's what happened and because maybe it happened a while ago the water is dried up so therefore that's why I can't see it but then you know I was like the towels on the back door would have on the door would have been wet nothing was wet they were completely dry you know they didn't feel wet like they had just dried or anything like that um so i'm so confused so immediately i started cleaning up you know i don't know where the water come from but my man was like okay let's get it up you know so I started getting it up. I took the rug out. I put it in the garbage. So when I went to get the stuff out the car, I went on and took the garbage down because uh, the garbage can was also knocked over. So I knew that was Chapo. And I was like, but where's the water coming from? Then there was water on my carpet in here. And I'm like, okay. I had to think about that because I had the rug in my hand. I didn't realize the rug was wet enough that it was dripping. So when I was standing here, um, I was like, okay, so that's where that water came from. From it dripping off the rug I had in my hand because I'm looking at the mess Chapo made. So I, I still don't know where the water came from. It would make sense for me to go upstairs and say, Hey, y'all did some overflow yesterday? Because all they can say is no. You know what I'm saying? Because did nobody know nothing when it happened last time? And these are different people up there. So um, I would think if something would overflow, that flow, they would have come down and checked. And who knows? Maybe they did. He didn't hear the door because he's asleep. You know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm like real dumbfounded about it. Um, like, where is this water coming from? Where did it come from? You, you know? Um, to the point that it was in the carpet and in my room. I'm like... So I'm just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Um, that was a bit frustrating. I'm mean, gonna be honest with you. I was like, is somebody in my house that I don't know about living in here? When we go, like, what's going on? You know. My coffee's so good, so good. But it's getting cold. <laughs> um. Yeah, so anyway, that, that, was a little, that was a little frustrating for me. Other than that, guys, I'm just so happy that it is Friday. It won't be no VTO today because, one, you have to work that full day before the holiday, the full day after the holiday in order to get paid, unless it's authorized. And then if I did take VTO, the fact that I took it yesterday means I don't, you know, I would be out of money. I don't get paid, you know, um... And I shouldn't have took it yesterday, but it was on my mind when I woke up, <laughs> like heavily. It's on my mind now, but, you know, I can't afford to do that. So, I be sitting my butt there praying that the phones don't ring. You know what I'm saying? If I have to sit there, then let me sit there and watch TV. <laughs> let me sit there and read my book, you know, my Bible, you know, my little inspirational book so let me document journal something you know what i'm saying watch some movies anything let the phones be quiet today just just give me that you know and it's so funny um my co-worker she sent me pictures she had left early on wednesday because it was her daughter's high school graduation and so um i checked in on her yesterday i was like how did the graduation go did you have fun and so she sent me pictures that her daughter was so beautiful beautiful blue dress gorgeous and um she was feeling the same way I was, and so when we when we got the little announcement about VTO, because we were talking about it, and um, she was like, "You see that message?" <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. "I was on the call at the time." She had applied for it and got approved. She does like me, um, web support, and so I applied for it, and I sent my. Um, supervisor a message twice, um, and she was like, "The girl that got approved." She was like. Um, Oh no, I, I saw an email 
an old email from my boss that was talking about um, make sure to review the restrictions. And so I went back and looked at the email and I was like, well, no restrictions on that email, you know, about uh, web support or anything else. Um, so I requested one o'clock because my lunch break was at 1245 until 115. So then that means on my lunch, I was just going to log off and stay off, right? So I hadn't heard from her. So, um, I sent her a message say, okay, um, well, I'm going to lunch. It's my lunch break. I didn't see any restrictions. Um, I said, I'll check back in five minutes to see if it was approved. If it was, I just will stay logged off. And so um, I did leave. And then when I came back, um, as a matter of fact, I sent her that message and left. And when I came back, the reason I came back was because um, the, my coworker had mentioned something to me, and that's what dawned on me to tell her about there was no restrictions. And so um, that's when she when when she sent me the message saying it's approved. The guys approved. And I was like, so just go ahead and log off. She was like, yeah, enjoy your your uh your uh enjoy your day, the rest of the day. And I was like, yes. Yes. So uh, technically, I I only left. I only lost four hours because, um, technically I'm off by one. Okay, because the lunch break, you know, is lunch break. So, um, if I'm sound off by one, that's only one, two, three, four, five, four hours. Um, that I go without. So, hopefully, I'll be able to make that up. Who knows? Who knows what these calls have been having lately. I just don't want no irate, crazy calls. I just, no. Mm -mm. Even though I'm learning to deal with it a little better, you know, I'm just be quiet. <laughs> you know, I'm just, well, I apologize. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. You know, and, you know, because I do get it. I do get and understand the frustration the majority of the time. I really, really do. Just like I quickly got frustrated with Comcast, like the, the representative. It's not his fault what he see on that screen. <coughs> he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? It was already there for him to have read it to me. You know? And that's the part that makes you a little bit nervous when you deal with people every all the time, every month, because you're paying the bill. And you're talking to people, and you're dealing with people all the time. And then you get one person, all of a sudden, it's don't know nothing. It's like, huh? <laughs> you know? That can, you know, take you back a bit. You know? But anyway, guys, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day today. I hope you remember to say your prayers. Not just for yourself, not just for your family, friends, and loved ones, but all our brothers and sisters in Christ, okay? Um, remember to treat people right. Treat people the way you would like to be treated or better. And expect great things. I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting great things. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I'm expecting great things to happen to me, through me, and for me. And not just to me, through me, and for me, but for you guys as well. I hope you're expecting great things. Right? I really do. Um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's my morning. Chapo. Do. Oh, what is that? That's a squirrel. He's staring at the squirrel. I don't know if y'all... Oh, he, he, there's two of them. Look at these suckers. They're going to break that awning. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all see these suckers? My window needs to be clean. clean. These are the doggone suckers. It's a squirrel right here on the roof. The other one got his butt in the awning. He just took off. And the awning just shaking. These little suckers on the roof. Yeah, these squirrels are here crazy. For real. These squirrels are crazy. I used to joke all the time and talk about the hood squirrels, y'all. And I'm not, you know, trying to be, you know. But think about it. You got folks out here <laughs> getting high on drugs, this, that, and the other. 
these damn squirrels getting a hold of these these drugs. <laughs> Look at this sucker. Y'all feel? Y'all see the army moving right? That's cause he in it. I feel like these squirrels out here high. I, I really do, y'all. I really do. When I go out the back a lot of times and um, the squirrels be in the garbage, under the garbage, on top of the garbage, I'll be like, oh, my God. And they, and it'll, it, they'll scare me at night. They be everywhere. During the day, I can see them too much. But at night, when you're trying to focus and pay attention, you know, in case somebody decided to run out at you or something, it, 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 it makes me jump because it's a dang squirrel. Look at, look at Chapo. You don't want to mess with these squirrels, Chapo. Well, I think they'll get you. <laughs> I told y'all when Jeremiah one day was somebody he saw a squirrel fighting a dog. <laughs> he said, Mommy, he said that squirrel was handling that dog. <laughs> And I was like in my mind thinking, boy, you high. <laughs> but he was like, no, mommy, for real. I remember y'all, my uh, uncle, one time. I think I told y'all that too. He came in the house talking about rats in the basement and some with red eyes. And my grandma, uh, Peterson, was like, boy, yo, you, she was like, he has, he, he high, basically. He was like, you talking about the rat with red eyes and yours green. <laughs> She had me rolling that day. She was like, "Yeah." I'm, I was like, I wouldn't put it past him. Maybe he did see a mouse or something down in the basement. Maybe he did. And his high mind, it was magnified. Who knows? Who knows? But he, I love my Uncle Eric. He, he was hilarious. This dang squirrel, y'all, is all the way on top of the roof. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry, y'all, cause this I can't get this in the window right. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy thing. Um, yeah, I love all all my uncles. Um, I have only one has passed away. Um, the other three are still alive. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I pray for everybody's health. Um, all my aunts are still alive. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I want to say. Um, I think I was, we were kind of, I think my TV just did what it wanted to do on its own just now. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Why that keep happening? I bet this is part, part of the scary movie when you be like, run. <laughs> Why you still sitting there? Somebody in your house. <laughs> But you know what? I just got to give it to Jesus at this point, y'all. I got to give it to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> um, no mess with me. I won't mess with you. Uh, what was I finna say? Oh, I love I loved all my uncles, each differently. I want to say back in the day, I think we may have been a little bit closer to my Uncle Daryl. I think it was between my uncle Daryl and Greg, um, but then as I I look back on it, it was also Uncle Eric Junior. We love I love Junior. That's you know Junior stayed with me for a while. Um, he's the one that has passed away. Um, I love um my uncle Junior. He was a hoot. He was a hoot. But he I think he was the old, he might have been out of all of them. I don't know if he was the oldest of the brothers, but he didn't. Like clown around as much as they did, um, and Uncle Greg, like we was always at his house. I remember that we was always at his house um, with uh, Nicole and and um, who else was there? Rollin. Like we was just always at his house. Like and when it was in the apartment, we'd be out there uh, with water balloons and just you know having a good time. Um, Aunt Nisi, she would make us breakfast, um, and she the reason why I eat my boiled eggs the way I do, <laughs> minus the, the seasoning salt, some people do the seasoning salt, but she's the reason why I eat my boiled eggs to this day the way I do, I think I got my son, Jeremiah, eating it that way too, um, 
But I love my boiled eggs that way. She used to make us the boiled eggs and she would melt the butter on it and put the uh, salt and pepper. And for them, seasoning salt, me, salt and pepper, that's it. Love, love, love that. I, to this day, cannot do my boiled eggs without the melted butter. It's not going to happen. I tried to just have the regular egg. It's not the same. It's dry. It's not the same. Like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can do it if I had to, but I would rather not. But yeah, and then Uncle Eric used to get on our nerves a lot because he would play games all the time. <laughs> they would trick us and just they would play games all the time. Um, but I I I do I, I adore all of them. Um, but I think as I've gotten older, I think I I I adore Uncle Eric the most. I think. Um, well, I don't want to say the most, but I would just say he was the one that was more, you know, he would keep us more entertained. Him and his shenanigans, you know, he was, they're all handsome, but he was handsome. And it used to be bone-legged, it used to be chicks all the time. And I remember us sitting on the porch and trying to figure out who was going to win the fight. Because <laughs> you would have women fighting over him and we would just be you know, betting who going to win. And my um, uncle has um son, uh, Eric Jr., but he don't, um, I don't, I don't think he cares for dad that much as dad, but, um, and he's, he's a handsome boy too. And his mom, we, we used to love his mom. His mom was around all the time. We, we loved his mom and she'd be whooping them chicks butts. Do you, you understand me? <laughs> She be whooping butt, okay, butt ass. <laughs> there was some days, y'all. There was some days, and then my uncle Eric had a best friend, Lee. When I tell y'all, if I'm not mistaken, his name was Eric too, but his middle name was Lee, so we called Lee. We called him Lee. If I'm not mistaken, because they both were Eric's. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I could be remembering that wrong. But that man was hard. I'm talking about Kevin Hart funny, like really funny, right? You know how you had these cats in the hood that's living and going through some things, and the stuff be funny because it's for real. It's stuff that could, like Bernie Mac. A lot of stuff Bernie Mac was talking about, that was for real. He might have funnied it up even more, but come on. who who We all got them kids that, you know, be looking at you like they want to fight. Especially them little babies. <laughs> you be going to ring their little necks. They be, nyum, 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 nyum. man, just like this cat. I know if this cat could talk. <laughs> he was pissed at me this morning because he couldn't come in the room. I will not allow him in. He did not sleep in my room last night. Um, he tried to come in this morning. So I did. I opened the door. I let him in. And he did just what I thought he was going to do. Go right over there to that plant. He's sitting up looking at it. And he was about to jump. Ah, you know. So, but down. You know. Um, because I can't trust you. You know, I can't. So, um. He, it's like he got an attitude left. <laughs> and then he went and sat by the door. And so when I walked past, I knew he had an attitude because he didn't follow. You know, if I walk by, he's going to follow or try to beat me in here. He did not follow. He waited a bit and then he walked on in there like, well, she still got to feed me. <laughs> I was just, I laughed. I was cracking up, y'all, because I thought it was hilarious. He got a whole freaking attitude because he could not come in my room. And that's just too bad, bruh. It's your fault. If I could have a conversation with you and knew, knew that you understood the conversation, then it'd be a whole different story. But I can't have no conversation with you. Um... I know you're gonna go in there and, and knock that water over, dr try to drink it. When he when he got in there yesterday afternoon, when I was doing something, he got in there and he said he got up there and I didn't do nothing to him. I wanted to see what he was gonna do. Sure enough, he went right over there to that plant. I was like, oh my god, you got all this cold water in here, but you rather drink the the plant water. Oh y'all, in the in my dream too, uh, in my dream. See, I be remembering stuff later. In my dream. I had a plant, this the same similar plant, but it was a little bit big.
bigger. At, at first, in the in the dream, it, it looked healthy and fine. Then, as we at the table going back and forth with this guy, um, that's the second time this guy that I was with in the dream spoke. He was like, "Why? Why is your plant dying?" And the plant started to look. It looked like a totally different plant. And I was like, "I don't know. You know, I don't know." And that's that's when I woke up. That's when I woke up. If I'm not mistaken, that's when I woke up. See, I just remembered that when I said plant. That's when I woke up. And the plant did. It looked totally different. It looked like a totally different plant. It was it was much bigger, um, but it, it looked like a totally, totally different plant. Even the leaves of what was on it uh, was totally different. So from when we when I first when we first when it while in the dream it was sitting there. So anyway, yeah, that's all I remember. That's all I remember. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I do know that much. I just can't remember what all it was. Um, I don't know. It was something about the house. I don't know. It's like it would, like, the times was or seasons was changing or constantly. You know, that we went from daylight to night quickly or, you know, from um, fresh greenery to... Um, tree branches, naked tree branches type of thing. I don't know, it was it was just really weird. Um but I don't remember anything else other than that. Um I don't know. <sighs> I am a bit sleepy though. Um I might lay back down. No I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and um watch Vanessa and then I watched Anthony yesterday a little bit. Um, I only watched two YouTubers yesterday. Um, so, like, as always, the TV was on. And I was just laying there trying to go to sleep. Um, I watched Anthony of Van Life. And so, you know, Anthony is now in Canada because he's getting a kit for his car. And I think I mentioned that to y'all before. And I was under the impression he was getting, like, a, a stove, kitchen type of thing set up. Um, in the van and so yesterday he um, was showing us a, you know he went to a restaurant um, in Canada where he ordered he was like everything is in French um, he was trying to try poutine I think that's how you pronounce it poutine and if anybody don't know what that is um, because I did that first it's um, fries mixed with gravy it had the fries have a, a gravy on it on it and um cheese and i think there's a sauce too i'm not sure but cheese and i think it's curd cheese i'm not sure i think people some people cook it differently um because i had seen a video with gay babe tv they went to visit you know, uh, another YouTuber I used to watch is Tony and the Man. Um, but her and her husband ended up getting divorced because he was cheating on her. And, you know, they had a YouTube channel or whatever. And she took that hard. Um, so, but prior to that, they went to visit. And they took him to a restaurant to try Poutine. And then I saw another van lifer. Um, I forget who it was. Who it was. Who it who was. It? Oh my god, I forget who it was, but it was another van lifer who was talking about it and he went and, and got it. Um and another one actually made his own replication of it. So yeah, anyway, he was sitting at the table and you know he ordered it. He was like, I hope the waitress is, speaks English too. And um his didn't look as good as the other people's did that I've seen. Um, and he was eating it. He wasn't making them this good noises that he make. <laughs> and so he was like, to be honest, it just tastes like fries and gravy. He's like, I've had fries and gravy before. He was like, and the cheese, he said it would be a different thing if the cheese was like, these squirrels, it's, it's really got him going, y'all. He was staring at these squirrels for long. Let's look at it. Because I got the fan in the window, he can't really get close enough like he want to. Um, 
yeah, he was eating them, but he wasn't making all the ooh, 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 noises and all that smacking. He was like, to be honest, it's it's good. He said, I'll, I'll give it a solid good. <laughs> He was like, it's not great or anything like that. He was like, maybe if there was more cheese. They said, he was like, when I think of cheese, I'm thinking moss, you know, gooey, like cheesy cheese. And he was like, this not it. He and so and he had in it uh, typing at the bottom. I'll try it again tomorrow. Maybe it was just today. Um, but he did put down that he would try again. Um, so yeah, he did show us just a clip. Of the kit that he had put in his van. So when he showed the clip. So it looks like. These little stuff. This is really. I don't know what's going on in that thing. But uh, they having a party up there. And you're not invited dude. <laughs> um, so they, he, he had like. Um, you know how you have. When you go to a restaurant and you have the, the seats here and then the person across from you sitting in the seats and then you have a table in the middle. So that's how it was in his van. He had the, you know, like the long seat. And then across from that was another seat. But at the time it was folded down. That's what it looked like. And then he had that space in the middle. And then when he went to the back of the van and opened it up, that's where you had that whole like, um, look like kitchen set up right but he has to you know fix it up and stuff so he was just giving us a glimpse of it and then when he gets back um to pa or oh, he's going to fix it up hook it up and then give us a tour of his kit and i was thinking to myself and i've seen a lot of people who have that um in the in in the back where they had their whole setup um where they had their whole like kitchen in the back and you could pull this out and this that and the other and get out and cooking whatever out but my thing was too he he does a lot of cooking inside so i'm curious to see how he's going to set that up if his kitchen is pretty much in the back um he did have that bench that's set up in the front so i'm sure he's going to um set it up so that he can you know cook inside so i'm just curious to see how he's going to do that and how you know it all comes together um i'm always curious about stuff like that and you know what <laughs> and then at that point Vanessa was just on because um, I think the video of hers I had already seen um, and so I was just laying down and whatever came on next is what played next I didn't I didn't really watch anything it was just on oh, it must be 7 o'clock <laughs> yep 7.07 707 oh, 707 oh, 7. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go 707 so I've been talking to y'all for a minute here 708 so I'm going to go ahead and try to get these videos up Jeremiah Good morning and I have a question for you I'll talk to you guys later Bye And yeah I'll talk to y'all while I um my computer restarts. And then it's off to work. 820 it should have already been restarted. Should only really take about five minutes, but to log in, but there's so many things you have to open up that it takes me a bit more. Okay. Just waiting. There we go. Let's do restart. Okay. So, it's 8:21. Make sure I am. It's off. Oh. 
Silas Low Ong. One moment, y'all. Respond to my messages. So, day is about to get started. Um, my computer just restarted, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off. Turn off the light. I gotta pee too, but mm -hmm. so at this point, I will talk to you guys. It's time for me to get started. Um, have an amazing day today, and um, be safe. Okay, it is the Memorial Day beginning of the Memorial Day weekend, so you guys. Be safe, be wise, be kind, okay? And if I don't talk to you later on today, I will most definitely, let me just do that. There we go, I got Bella! That Bella! <laughs> and so if I don't talk to you guys a little bit later today, I will for sure talk to you tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure I'll follow up with you guys today. Um, so, until then, bye. Hey, hey guys. Oh, crap on my leg, crap. Oh, oh. Woo. Woo. Happy Friday evening. Look at that. I'm going to put some little toothpaste on it. Happy Friday evening, you guys. I got off work. Um, it was a... It was a day. <laughs> It was off and on busy. Like you have moments where the phones would ring, moments when it didn't. For the most part, it was not that busy. But we stayed all day. <sighs> so tired. But I can't go to sleep. I'm tired. I'm so sleepy, but I can't fall asleep. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. I just watched um on Netflix. I was talking to my daughter. She was telling me about a show that my granddaughter started. Um, so I went to look at it. Because I really haven't been on Netflix in a while. And it seems like it would be cute. But I'm, I don't think I would like it too much. Um, I like King Dramas. And um, my granddaughter's kind of into it now too. Um, they like... Uh, anime and stuff like that it's kind of the same as me which is awesome I love it sorry y'all anyway um, and so I ran across <laughs> so we have a ghost or something and I had seen it before and I, I've been meaning to check it out but I would always forget so anyway, I decided, you know what, why don't I lay here while I eat? I had heated up a pizza and I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it. Um, it was really cute. It just went off. I liked it. You know, it was kind of corny or whatever, but at the same time, it was good too. Uh, I, I recommend watching it. I really liked it. It was cute. Um, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> oh my God. Oh, so sorry. I need to uh, get my butt up here, though, and uh, get out. But I'm not going to. I know it's going to be everybody and mom at, in the stores tomorrow, so maybe I get up really early. And when I get through donating, go. Um, because it's going to be a busy, crazy weekend. So, because of Memorial Day. Um, it's going to be just as crazy on Monday, Memorial Day itself. So whatever I do, I need to go on and do it, right? But I'm so tired. <sighs> I just want to get some whipped cream tomorrow. 
I don't have no choice but to wait till tomorrow for what I need to do tomorrow um, after I donate. Um, but I'm just so sleepy, but I cannot go to sleep, y'all. I'm just like up. Um, I'm gonna try to lay down here, but I just wanted to share with share that with you guys. I thought it was really cute. I think you should watch it. Check it out. Um, so we have a ghost or a house. Thinking we have a ghost or something. Yeah, my son brought me. <laughs> Jeremiah brought me the mail. I was like, oh, I want no bills. He brought me this big old envelope that says signature uh, requested on documents and clothes. I'm like, now what? <laughs> you know, I was thinking like, oh, I kind of got excited because I thought maybe these are divorce papers. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, y'all, it turned out to be, um, Gerber, life insurance. <laughs> I was like, what? At first I thought it was some kind of summons or a bill or <laughs> somebody trying to take me to court or something. I was like, no. And then at the whole baby is divorce papers, I got a little excited, you know, um, but it's Gerber, 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 whatever, uh, life insurance proposed. Oh, I cannot talk today. Um, I'm going to take the time to actually read it. It's quite interesting. And then they give you these free um, envelopes. Oh, which is pretty cool, but what's crazy, I don't use the mail. I don't have anything to mail. I haven't mailed anything, and I don't know how long. But I really like this. <laughs> it's a W. So, oh wait, did I put it upside down? Did I turn it into an M? I sure, nope. <laughs> it's a W, y'all. What? What? You'll give me a tattoo. <laughs> w. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is cool. I don't use envelopes. What do I look like if I go get a tattoo right here, y'all? What you think? I've been in bled out. I ain't gonna never get another tattoo. It's a lot out there that I like and stuff, but... I'm done with that. I got one tattoo ever in my life. I have no intentions on getting another one. Novo. 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 What y'all think? Girl, what's that on your neck? That's a tattoo. That's a lady's tattoo. You don't like it. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so sleepy. I'm silly sleepy. Anyway, that's it. I really don't have a lot to say. I know my room is a bit junky. Oh, well, we've all been there. I will clean it and fix it up and all that. So, a lot of things I want to do, just haven't had time to do it. So, right now, I'm just improvising with what I have. I'm working on it. Don't judge me. Okay? Anyway, guys, have an amazing, 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 amazing Friday evening. I'm so tired. I'm stumbling over my words. I'm going to go ahead and lay down here. Take a quick a quick and much needed nap. The cat nap and everybody sleep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes here. I'll get up a little bit later and take me a nice hot soak. <laughs> so I can get up and get ready for uh, donate in the morning get my butt in the house. Because I don't want to deal with no traffic, no craziness. Um... I did have to, y'all, got my ice. I did have to earlier. I took uh, four Advil's. My neck was in so much pain in my back. And then I took, um, I got that ice and I just massaged it in while I was sitting there. And it started to feel a little bit better. The Advil kicked in. I felt great. But it was so bad. Like, I was, ouch. Like, when I held my head down, it pulls. And so I was trying to... You know how you exercise and you turn your head all the way? I could do it now because the Advil and the ice. But earlier, I could not. Right here, I had to stop. Like, I'm feeling it. I'm pulling right now, but 
I can get away with it because of the medication and that ice, but I couldn't even, it was so painful. Um, but I am going to start trying to um, exercise more, stretch more. Um, I want to work on yoga and meditating. Um, I had mentioned that before about meditating. So I think what I'll do is maybe have y'all join me for maybe half an hour to 45 minutes uh, where we just... Um, maybe stretch and then uh, try a little bit of you know yoga uh, for beginners like yogas for not zero one beginner but zero 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying like she can't like she used to so for real for real like Okay, just join me. Join me. We will start together. All right. Um, I'm going to start trying to do at least a half an hour to an hour um, of stretching, meditating, some yoga. And then definitely, of course, you know, my word. Um, yeah, I have to, you know. Um, I did not study last night. I have to get some word in today. <sighs> but anyway... You guys have an amazing uh, rest of the night. I've said that already, but it's important that you know. I am uh, hoping that you all stay safe. Be smart. Be wise. Okay? It, just be mindful. You know what I'm saying? Some people are lit already. Okay? They celebrate Memorial Day right now. On, all the way through. Right? So just, just be careful. And, uh... Remember to expect great things, guys. I am. You know I am. I always am. And I hope you are too, right? Talk to y'all later. Bye now.